Happy FA Cup Day, everybody, and to everyone driving up to Manchester for this game. I hope you have a good time here, and also big shout out to the Manchester United fans who've got the long drive up from London to go to the game as well at Old Trafford. I don't know why it is, but we always end up drawing Manchester United in a cup competition. It's absolutely ridiculous. I won't even get onto that. West Ham fans watching this, you know. You know how uh, annoying it is, and... It just seems like every single season you guarantee we're going to get United in a cup tournament. And nine times out of ten anyway, we end up getting knocked out by them. Not to be the pessimist, I'm just being realistic. So for this preview, I'm going to be talking about what we can expect from this United team at the moment. Because I'm telling you now, Eric Tenag has got this team back on top. I went on the Premier League review with... Uh, I think it was Pete Proudlock's channel. He's a Newcastle fan. One of the guys on there was a Manchester City fan called Martin. And he was asked, do you think Manchester United is getting back on top? And he said, yeah, I would agree with that. And I would agree with that as well. Because Man United is getting back on top right now. Let's just look at a few facts here. United lost the first two games of the Premier League season. But since then, it's only lost three times in the league. In the FA Cup, it beat Everton... In the third round, 3-1. And then beat Reading 3-1 by the same scoreline. What it is, is that Tenag's noticed a lot of weaknesses in that team. A lot of players who are not pulling the weight. And he's aimed to bring in players that he knows from his time at Ajax. As well as to get the best out of other players. Marcus Rashford is one good example. Man United fans wanted him gone. His Rashford's head was probably at PSG already. But Rashford stayed on and I'm telling you, he's definitely winning. Player of the Month for February. Scored in every single league game in February. Uh, he scored five goals in four games. Uh, he's as well had a really good performance in the League Cup final recently when Man United beat Newcastle 2 0. And the other player who got a goal on that day was Casemiro, who I think is one of the best defensive midfielders of my generation. Fantastic player, great passing, great defensive work. Covers a hell of a lot of ground. And it's going to be a challenge for us going up against him. Other uh, players get honourable mention. I think Bruno Fernandes has not been at his goal scoring himself, but he's still adding a little bit of playmaking. Luke Shaw's come back into the team after that horror injury that he suffered, and he's starting to mould his way into a good left back again. Um. One maybe little disappointment is Anthony. I think he just needs a bit more game time and to bed his heels in a little bit more. Had a good life, start to life in Manchester, but he's slacked off a little bit. And also confidence is just coming through with wins for this United side. It's confidence again. They're building on everything they're doing. It's not like the scatterbrain in the results. They beat Barcelona in the knockout round of the... Europa League playoffs. There's a confidence boost. They've got to face Real Betis later this month. And they'll need a bit more confidence and everything they can get going into the weekend when they face Liverpool. And they don't face West Ham again until May. And that's going to be at the London Stadium. So what can we expect from this West Ham team? Well, Corne is supposed to be back. And the big news is that Lucas Fabianski is... Got a fractured cheekbone and a bust eye socket. So Alphonse Ariola is set to go in to, to the team and become the starting goalkeeper. And it's about time he did. I expect Skamaka to be playing in this. I expect Fournals to be starting, actually. And I expect, actually, a very strong team to go out there. we got to put our strong team. This United team is not tired. It didn't look tired in the League Cup final. It's still going to be pumped. We need to go for a full-strength team, and if it means our second best has to punch above its weight, then so be it. We go full-strength and get a win in this game. We're going to be confident going into the weekend. But we can beat them. Look at what happened when we beat them 1-0 in the League Cup in 2021. Happy days then. We can do it again. Just got to have that faith, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching this very quick preview. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.